e-learning gate. It opens the cognitive learning paths with the help of digital resources. Fractions. A fraction is a simple yet powerful way. It expresses a portion of something larger. It's made up of two numbers, the numerator, which sits above the line, and the denominator, which rests below. Three is the numerator. And four is the denominator. Equivalent fractions are fractions that represent the same value, even though they may look different. For example, one half is the same as two fourths and four eighths. For instance, in the fraction 6 twelfths, both 6 and 12 can be divided by 6, giving you the simplified fraction, half. To simplify a fraction, follow these steps. First, identify the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator. Then, divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. For example, to simplify 15 25ths, find the greatest common factor of 15 and 25, which is 5. Common factors of 15 and 25 are 1 and 5. So, the greatest common factor would be 5. Divide both 15 and 25 by 5. The simplified fraction is 3 fifths. Remember, simplifying fractions doesn't change their value, it just makes them easier to work with. A mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. It represents quantities greater than 1 that are not whole. For example, 2 and 1 half is a mixed number, where 2 is the whole number and 1 half is the fractional part. A vulgar fraction is also known as a common fraction. It's a fraction where the numerator and denominator are both whole numbers. When working with fractions, it's important to identify a common denominator, especially when adding or subtracting them. For example, if you want to add one fourth and one sixth, First, list the denominators, which are 4 and 6. Then, find the least common multiple. The smallest or least common multiple is 12, so the common denominator is 12. Finally, convert the fractions, so that they both have this common denominator. Do this by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the same number, so that the Denominator matches the common denominator. 3 twelfths plus 2 twelfths equals 5 twelfths. When ordering fractions, it helps to compare their values by finding a common denominator. First, find the least common denominator for all the fractions. This allows you to compare the fractions directly. For example, let's order the given fractions from smallest to largest. First, find the common denominator. The denominators are 3, 5, and 2. The least common multiple of these numbers is 30. Next, convert each fraction so they all share the common denominator. Once the denominator becomes same, then compare the numerators. Finally, arrange the fractions 1 third, 2 fifths, one half. To convert a fraction to a decimal, simply divide the numerator by the denominator. For example, to convert three fourths to a decimal, the result is 0 0.75. Now, to convert a fraction to a percentage, you first convert the fraction to a decimal, then multiply that decimal by 100. A unit fraction is a fraction where the numerator is 1 and the denominator is a positive integer, like one-half, one-third, or one-fourth. Unit fractions have a special role in mathematics, they act as multiplicative inverses.
What is a multiplicative inverse? A multiplicative inverse is a number that, when multiplied by the original number, gives a result of 1. For example, the multiplicative inverse of 4 is 1 fourth. That's because, when you multiply 4 by 1 fourth, the result is 1. In the case of unit fractions, the fraction itself is the inverse of its denominator. For example, 1 fifth is the multiplicative inverse of 5. When you multiply 5 by 1 fifth, the result is 1. 